Hey everybody, this is Dave with the Bomb Smokes. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to make some pizza dough. Now I've never done this before. Uh, I'm going to make, I want to grill a pizza and I'm going to do that on my next video. I thought I'd just make this short video just to show how I make the dough. And my friend Christine that I know, she's she really helpful on this. She used to be a chef and a baker and so she kind of uh, gave me the rest, to help, well, she helped me out a lot by the way. Uh, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the dough and show how that's done and we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tape it and show you how it's done. Y'all stay tuned. Slower than a sloth. More off the wall than Humpty Dumpty. Able to burn food until it's unrecognizable. It's a master cleaner. It's a master chef. Hell no, it's the bomb smokes. All right. To make this pizza dough, we're going to use two and one quarter cups of bread flour, one and one half cups of water, one packet of dry yeast. I use the Fleischmann's Active Dry, just one packet, one and a half teaspoons of salt. I used kosher salt. I don't guess it makes any difference and two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I'm also going to put some garlic salt in it. Not much, just sprinkle some in there. And I'm gonna mix it in this blender right here. So, let's get to doing that. We're gonna add our flour. We're gonna add our brewer's yeast. Going to add our salt. We're going to add our olive oil. We're going to add our water. Oh, I almost forgot. Put a little bit of this garlic salt in there. Not much. All right. I'm going to use this attachment that goes with the KitchenAid here. Put it down. And we're going to go ahead and mix it. sticky. I just need to add a little bit more dough here. <laughs> wow! First time. Uh, should it be that sticky? Hell, I don't know. Get off my fingers, man. Just like anything, you start out and you think it's going to be simple. You say, well, what? How hard could that be? That's what I've got, folks. I'm just going to cover it over, set it to the side, see what happens. Well, there it is. I'm going to let it rise. The thing about this that I had a hard time with was the recipe called for a certain amount of flour, but I had to add a whole lot more flour in there because it was so sticky, it kept sticking in my hands, I couldn't do anything with it. So I believe I finally got it now where I can mess with it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this rise in the refrigerator. So, and boy, I made a mel of a hess, I'll tell you. <laughs> but, you know, it, it'll be worth it. I, I feel like it will. All right, so I'm going to cover this up, 
put it in the refrigerator for about 24 hours and I'll make the pizza tomorrow night. How's that? Well look y'all, thank you for watching, stopping by and if you like it, hit the thumbs up button and go over and subscribe. Appreciate it y'all. See you tomorrow. Cheers.